And when you travel around East and Southern Ukraine today, you will see civil society groups staffed largely, by the way, by women who are um, supporting the army, supporting the National Guard. These are people who previously were never involved in civil society activities, usually people often older, middle and older generation. And these are people who are often Russian speakers. Um, they are doing it because they've lived all their life in Ukraine and they're Ukrainian patriots. So that, um, that aspect is something that Putin didn't expect. And, and it shows a, a shock factor to him that many of the troops fighting against the separatists and the Russian forces in the Donbass are themselves Russian speakers, including Jews, by the way, um, because the Jews of Ukraine supported Ukraine in this conflict. Putin would have liked them to support the separatists and support Russia, but they, they to a man and woman, have supported Ukraine. Um, and there were Jewish Sotni, Jewish, Jewish uh, companies um, of volunteers on the Euromaidan. Three Jews died on the Euromaidan out of the hundred unarmed protesters who were killed. And there have been Jews fighting in, uh, alongside Russian speakers, Ukrainian speakers on the Eastern Front as well. So all of that is something that two years ago we may not have expected. And it's a product of the Euromaidan and uh, the aggression against Ukraine. And this civil society movement is a, uh, and the way the volunteer battalions were created is, is an outgrowth of how Ukrainians are very, very um, um, good at self-organization. They can, um, can forage and find and beg and borrow and, and buy um, products, whether it's food, um, uh, clothing, or weapons, that we in the West would find very difficult to do. And this surely must come something in the genes of Ukrainians, because after all, the Ukrainian partisan forces of the 1940s were able to fight right through to the early 1950s. And they couldn't do that without a popular support and without the ability to self-organize. So that has been something that's uh, long grown in, in Ukrainian identity.